Dr Lowe, if I can jump in next, John, if that's OK. Chris Reason from Seven News, thanks for taking questions from the media today. I just wanted to ask you, last month you told the Senate Estimates uh, Committee that uh, you listen to Australians, you do receive their letters and you read them and you respond. Uh, I'm just wondering if, the, if it's got far more serious in tone in the last week now. We're hearing from suicide prevention agencies who have now arranged to meet with you to discuss their concerns. Things out there in Heartland are getting that serious. How much uh, notice, how much recognition, how much uh, do you listen to those sorts of messages as they come to you? And secondly, given what those messages are, though, given what you've said today, what can you really tell them, what can you really do, given you're saying if you don't keep interest rate rising, uh, the situation will get far worse? Yeah, I mean, that's a difficult message, isn't it? But it's the truth. If, interest, if inflation stays high, we know that will lead to higher interest rates, people losing jobs and more pain. That's the reality we face. It's an uncomfortable reality, but that's um, the reality, and it's, um, it's a very difficult message for, for people to hear. Uh, at yesterday's um, board meeting, I, uh, I went through with the board the mail that I've been receiving, and the, um, we discussed it in quite a lot of detail, the, the, the difficulties that many people are obviously facing who borrowed in recent times and are facing big increases in mortgages. People write to me how it's affecting their families and their mental health. And um, as you said, in the, in the next month, I'm meeting with um, Suicide Prevention and Lifeline to talk about what they're hearing as well. So we're very um, alert to that and um, you know, it weighs heavily on my heart and, and the, um, the hearts of the board members. But at the same time, we know that if we don't get on top of inflation, higher interest rates, more unemployment, more pain. We think we can navigate this narrow path and uh, bring inflation down and keep many of the gains in the labour market. But if we don't let inflation, if we don't get inflation down, we will be in all sorts of trouble. So that's, it's a difficult message at an individual level. And, um, you know, it weighs, weighs on us a lot. And I read um, the many letters and uh, often I respond to them. But it's interesting, we've also been receiving um, letters recently saying um, it's the first time that then I've been the governor um, thank you for preserving the value of money. Because there are parts of the community who know how damaging inflation is. So it's, it's a difficult time. Uh, g'day, Dr Lowe. Daniel Sutton from uh, Channel 10. Hello, yes. Bright lights, yeah. I apologise. Um, you acknowledged in your speech the effects of high interest rates are felt unevenly across the community. Obviously, the whole point is to try and reduce spending, and we can clearly see the impact on low- and middle-income mortgage holders indirectly as a result, renters. The question many people are asking, though, is what about the top end of town? You did touch on this in your, in your speech, but how are you encouraging the top end of town to reduce their spending? And to illustrate that point in a, in a cheeky way, I suppose, have you personally felt the need to rein in your spending in recent months? Well, I'm just um, one person in 26 million, so <laughs> my, my personal um, circumstances aren't going to affect the aggregate, are they? So, uh, it's it's diffi difficult because monetary policy is falling unevenly across the community and the people who are um, being most affected are people who've borrowed in recent times and um, having to pay a higher mortgage payment. So that's... That's where the effect is being uh, most felt. Uh, but um, higher interest rates have diffuse effects elsewhere. Um, just imagine if we had not raised rates, where do you think the exchange rate would be? Much lower. We'd have more inflation. Uh, the higher interest rates do encourage people to save a bit more. You can now, if you shop around, and please shop around for deposits, you, get, you can get high fours and that increases by 4% on your savings. So shop around, that increases the incentive to save. And um, housing prices have fallen, partly because of higher interest rates. And at least for some people, the lower wealth they feel as a result of lower housing prices means they spend less. So there are diffuse 
uh, transmission channels, but the most direct one, you're right, is on higher mortgage payments. And, it's, and it, I know it's tough.